energy and trying to look whole to somebody who is just as jacked up as you. You trying to pretend in front of your sister and she got more issues than you. <laughs> you have delayed your deliverance and your healing <laughs> because you don't want nobody to know your business. You heard my testimony. And I got free because I didn't care who knew my business. <laughs> I didn't care what they had to say about me. He made me a woman of wellness because I didn't care. I got delivered from people, Pastor Alicia. Come on, come on. I got delivered from people. what you say about me. No, 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 no. It don't hurt my feelings that you know I did porn. So I, I told them on my own self. <laughs> yeah. It don't hurt my feelings. Woo. You know, people get mad at you and want to hold your past over your head. Baby, you wouldn't know my past if I didn't tell it. <laughs> you can't hurt my feelings. And that's why I'm a woman of wellness. <laughs> that's why I'm a woman that's been made whole. Because I surrendered and submitted to the Father despite what other people had to say about it. Yeah. Play some softly, musicians. <laughs> I get down here. I came to work. I know. It's, it ain't too often that I, uh, I ain't too bougie to sit down here. <laughs> ain't too often that I get to, once I left LA three years ago, God has shipped me to many places, but I, it ain't too often that I get to come home just to preach. I've come home to visit family, friends, go to some babies' birthday parties, but, but not too often. Don't drop me, I'm heavy. <laughs> it's not too often that I get to come home and preach. <laughs> and for God to send me back here, <laughs> I would be doing a disservice to come here <laughs> and not be there for one of my sisters <laughs> and stand in the gap for one of my sisters <laughs> so that you can have a testimony like mine <laughs> to say that I'm a woman of wellness for real. <laughs> I got a wild testimony <laughs> for real because I came to see the Father and, 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 and I, I didn't say it yet, but I thought y'all would catch on when they got me off of here. The altar is open. The altar is open because ain't no telling when I'm coming back to L.A. to preach. And, and I'm here. And I ain't going to leave till you get set free. So if you got an appointment and you want to get there, I suggest you move fast. Because the problem is, Prophet, I told God I ran from my calling a long time because I said, Lord, I know you lying. I know you lying. You ain't called me to preach to nobody. Because first of all, who gonna listen to me? My God, my God. Who gonna believe me? How am I gonna talk about Jesus to anybody when they know where I came from? <laughs> You ever heard, have you ever told somebody, you can't tell me about God when you whoop de whoop 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 whoop. And, and, and I was my own worst enemy and I was my worst critic and, and, and God literally almost turned my life upside down until I obeyed. <laughs> because many are called, you are chosen. <laughs> when you chosen, you can run but you can't hide. He gonna get you, he gonna get you one way or the other. <laughs> and I said, okay God. When I stopped wrestling with him, I said, Lord, if I'm going to do this, I want to do it right. Because I can stay in the streets because the church ain't never paid me what I made in the streets. First lady, I didn't, I didn't, come, to, I didn't come to God because of money. Because I made more money in the streets, but the streets almost killed me. Come on. I do this because I made a vow to God in that basement. for myself and a lot of people don't know God to be real for themselves but I didn't call on Allah I didn't call on Buddha I didn't call on Jehovah you know the Jehovah witness God 
God, I called on Jesus. And he answered my prayer. And at that moment, I knew he was real. And I don't want to do this if I ain't going to do it right. And I ain't them kind of preachers that don't want to tarry with the people. You know, some preachers get so high, they don't even want to touch you. That ain't me. And so, I'm going to say it again. The altar is open because there's a lot of women in here who are not well. My God. My God. And I know you fool because all that chicken you ate. But I break the spirit of gluttony. And whatever spirit that's hindering you from getting your real breakthrough and your deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. The altar is open. You want to be well for real. You want to not just be saved, but whole. I don't just want to be saved because all you got to do is accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior to get saved. You got to take some extra steps to get delivered. You got to take some extra steps to get healed. And so, whatever your issue, only you and God knows. That thing that you cry about when ain't nobody looking. That thing you've been battling with for years. <laughs> you know that unforgiveness My God. for what they did to you. You know that bitterness that you've been carrying all these years. <laughs> that's been stopping you from getting a real breakthrough. We're going to give it to him. Everybody come. Don't just stand there. Come, come, come. I ain't scared of y'all. I ain't scared to touch you. I ain't scared to touch you. I ain't scared to hug you, sis. Because I know it hurts. I know some of y'all are so broken. And some of y'all hearts are so broken. But he's a mender of the broken heart. tell you that there is light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> because some of y'all been so broken you can't even see your way out but since I came to tell you there is light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice and your obedience to come forth can turn your whole situation around before you even get back home the fact you took heed to his voice can change your whole situation I lose angels to go and meet you at your house those of you have got an ugly past like me and you allow people to tell you say mean things and cruel things to break your spirit I came to tell you that they told me that too they told me I wouldn't make it. They told me I would never be nothing. But can you see what God has done? If he did it for me, sis, what wouldn't he do for you? Jesus. Those of you still sitting there, I'm assuming that you're a woman of wellness. So I, I'm just going to ask you to intercede for your sister. Because if you're still sitting in your seat, I'm assuming that you ain't got no problems. And you ain't got no issues. So intercede for your sister. Intercede for your daughter to get their breakthrough. I thank you for your daughters. I thank you for what you're doing. Everybody speaking your heavenly language. Call his name. I still believe if you call him, he'll show up. I believe if you call him, he'll show up. If you ain't got nothing else to say, just say Jesus. 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 He breaks every yoke. Jesus, he destroys every yoke. Jesus, God of the deliverer. Jesus, the healer. Jesus, the way maker. Jesus, make me whole. Jesus, make me well. Jesus, renew my mind. Jesus, renew my spirit. Jesus, come see about me. Jesus, come see about me. Remove the pain, God. 
You got to forgive those who wronged you. You got to forgive those who wronged you. You got to forgive them for they know not what they do. You got to even forgive God for some of y'all are angry with God. Forgive.
musicians play. But God wants to hear you. Can you guys be quiet for a second? God wants to hear you. No music, no instruments. God wants to hear your war cry. He wants to hear your war cry. Some of y'all got stuff sitting in the pit of your belly. And if you release it, there's a sign that heaven is waiting for. There's a sign that's in the pit of your belly. Let me hear your war cry. If you ain't got nothing else to say, Thank you. 